Scoring. Important note. Scores are assigned to seats, and seats are assigned to quizzers. You cannot assign a quizzer points unless they are seated. Question navigation. The current question number is in the upper right hand corner. Click on the number to advance to the next question. The back button to the left of it will take you to the previous question. You may also click on any of the question numbers in the grid to jump quickly to any question number. Okay, scoring. The quiz master, as an example, reads the question and red one buzzes in and is recognized. You click on seat button for red one. This will assign him positive points for the question. If he gets it right, you just leave it alone. If he gets it wrong, click on the seat button for red one again. This will change his point values to negative. If you click on the wrong seat or click too many times, a third click will reset the points for that seat. As a demo, uh, we need to set the red one with the uh, number of questions needs right at this point to get a quiz out. And I'll proceed through that as we go. It does take a bit of a lag time to, to change the point values. In a match, it's not going to be too slow. But if you're doing it in this way, like we're going to do it, it does take a few seconds for it to catch up with you. Okay. All right, quiz out. There are two types of quiz outs, forwards and backwards. Both cause the program to unseat the quizzer. If you advance beyond the question they quizzed out on. The settings are different for JBQ and TBQ, so if the program is not responding the way it should, you are more than likely not set correctly. Settings on the menu bar allow you to change this. Quiz out forward will mark the quizzer name in blue and represent the bonus points were added to the score. Quiz out backwards will mark the quizzer name in black and no additional penalty will be assessed other than being removed from the match. Interrupts. Interrupts. Uh, tracking interrupts does not affect scoring and is optional. I do realize the importance of tracking it for the sake of record and it is included for that purpose. Selecting the interrupt button to the left of seat 1 for either team will mark the question as interrupt interrupted by underlining the points scored for that question in Quizzer. Fouls. Fouls are two types of fouls, team foul and quizzer foul. When a foul occurs, select the foul button to the left of seat 2 for the team getting the foul. The foul control will display with a list of all quizzers. Select a quizzer to receive the foul and click OK. If it is a team foul, select team points. This quizzer is on every team and is only there for team fouls. When a foul is assessed to a team on a given question, the foul button will turn red and the question number will be marked with an underline. This is to help easily find and correct foul assignments at the end of a match. Tracking. There are three types of tracking which, are gener which will generate team fouls if they're overused. They are at the top of the uh, team grid above questions 1 through 9 for your tracking purposes. Timeouts. Each team gets three timeouts and on the fourth they get a team foul if they request it. Failed contest. This is TBQ only. Each e team gets two. On the third they get a team foul for each one thereafter. Judges rulings. JBQ only. Each team gets two and on the third they get a team foul. Hopefully there won't be any more after that.